Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about why these magazines from different vendors have an impact on my daily work. So let's get it. Welcome back guys. For those who are new, my name is back again. I'm an Amorai videographer and in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amorai topics, tutorials, troubleshooting. So if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So why do I bother making a video about magazines and more magazines? Well, there's a few things I want to share with you today. I've struggled a lot with uh, one specific sequence, which I saw a few years ago at a different vendor from what we are using, 3D late enhancement for cardiac imaging. When I saw that, I was like, whoa, this is very nice. I really want to try it out when we get back to work and try it on our scanner, but I never managed to do it. It was so crap results. I don't even want to show you guys. So I put the project on the side and it's like, hmm, thinking maybe this is not possible to do it on a scan at all. But then recently they were just released a new magazine from the, from the Siemens Magnetone Flash, the SCMR, which is cardiac, right? And I want to share the story with you here today. But before that, I have a MacBook with me here today and I want to show you a few things. So even though I don't use GE or Philips, I'm really interested in those anyways, because reading other vendors, what they are up in the front line, it's, it's really interesting, you know, to see what they have as the newest one. And there's an ongoing competition between these different vendors, but it doesn't matter. MR is MR, and sometimes you can adapt things from one vendor to another vendor. So I find it interesting. Nevertheless, for the GE, you can go in here, the signal you can download here. I will put the link in the description down below for you. And then you have Philips for the field strength, also here, free download for you. And then you have the latest um, magnetum flash, the SCMR. So we're gonna go in here, I'm gonna check it out, I'm gonna show you. So what you see in front of me here now is the magnetum flash. So down here, you have this page 34, 3D late enhancement, you got a linear. This is what I'm struggling with, it's like, whoa, did they manage to do this? Okay, let's go and check it out. Page 34. This one. I just love the topic, how I do it. It's because these are the things that you can some adapt at the work. They share a lot of settings. They share a lot of parameters here where you got time at work, you can try it out. Before I continue, I want to say a special thanks to Patrick Pierce and the team behind these articles because this is really nice. This is what I've been looking for for many years. But then reading in this article, it's like, oh, they're using a 3D video scanner and we only use 1.5 at our work for cardiac imaging. And they share a lot of parameters here and we know that these parameters can't adapt to a 1.5. But I was curious, I really want to try it out. And I really took everything from here, from a 3T to a 1.5, I try it out and I will show you the results. So as you can see here, there's a two chamber view here. The myocardium is gray, it's not good at all. Is really crap. So these settings from a 3T to 1.5 is not working. That's what we knew in beforehand, right? Even though I was just curious, I want to try it out. And then later on, uh, I went home thinking, what can I do to adjust this to a 1.5? And I want to show you results as well. So these are results from a 1.5 Tesla. The myocardium is way darker. It's way better than I managed to do before because of the magazines and because of now, okay, people have managed to do this on a 3T, so let's try it on 1.5, right? You can see the two chamber here, short axis, the four chamber, and the myocardium is dark. It's not perfect yet. However, this is the closest to what I managed to do as good. Uh, so this is the sequence I really want to work more on and uh, further optimizing for have it as good as possible on a 1.5 Tesla. So that's why I want to share you this story here because all these kind of magazines, they are so important for daily work. You get tips, you get tricks, you get motivated and you get like, you know, kicking the ass to go out there and try. Of course, it's not always easy to, you know, have the time to try out the new things because in the daily work, we are so busy with patients, in our patients. But uh, just keep in mind, whenever you've got time, try it out, right? Well, that's the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed to watch this video. I find it informative, valuable. Before we close up for today, I have a question for you. Do you read this kind of magazines? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, don't forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe. So until next time, thanks for watching until the far end and uh, take care. I hope I see you again. Peace out.